fellow Gambians and friends of the Gambia, I once again appear before you to present to you an update on the COVID-19 pandemic. As we all know by now, the new disease caused by coronavirus COVID-19, which was initially a global emergency of international concern, has now been declared a pandemic by the World Health Organization. My primary aim is to inform you about this new disease caused by coronavirus, which WHO has declared as a pandemic now. Today, the disease has been confirmed in at least 135 countries in the world and in almost all continents. The disease globally has been confirmed in 142,500 cases with over 5,000 deaths. To be specific, 5,393 as we speak. Senegal has declared 10 confirmed cases up to date and there is now local transmission from person to person in Senegal. The Ministry of Health and its partners had taken various steps since the onset of the outbreak in China. The detection of the disease in Senegal, which is the only neighbor to the Gambia, means that our efforts in the prevention of the disease have to be strengthened. Fellow Gambians and friends of the Gambia, as the severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2, that's SARS-CoV-2, causing the disease COVID-19, is a new virus the lack of immunity in the population, and the absence as yet of an effective vaccine means that COVID-19 has the potential to spread extensively. We are all susceptible to the disease, and thus the likelihood that the Gambia will be affected is high due to its proximity to Senegal, which, is, which now has 10 confirmed cases. Among those who become infected, some will exhibit no symptoms. Early data suggest that of those who develop an illness, the great majority will have a mild to moderate but self-limiting illness, similar to seasonal flu. It is, however, also clear that a minority of people who get COVID-19 will develop complications severe enough to require hospital care, most often pneumonia, in a small proportion of these, the illness may be severe enough to lead to death. Fellow Gambians and friends of the Gambia, the Ministry of Health has learned a lot from our previous plans for the Ebola virus prevention strategies. Many of the structures are already in place and needed to be uh, activated. The many improvements in our health facilities over the few years have also enhanced our preparedness to respond to the outbreak. The Gambia government, through the Ministry of Health, has been planning an initial response based on information available at the time in a context of uncertainty that can be scaled up or down in response to new information to ensure a flexible and proportionate response. The fundamental objectives are to deploy phased actions to contain, delay, and mitigate any outbreak using information from the WHO and research. The different phases, types, and scales of actions depend on how the course of the outbreak unfolds over time. We monitor local, national, and international data and information continuously to model what might happen next over the immediate and long terms. The Ministry of Health first reactivated the steering committee of the Public Health Emergency Task Force and renamed it the National Health Emergency Committee so that it continues to prepare and work even if there are no emergencies. This meeting was very successful, the initial meeting, as the mechanism for wider cooperation among stakeholders was commenced and a plan set out. This meeting was conducted in early February 2020. The Ministry of Health conducted the following activities, namely a press release to inform the public on COVID-19, press briefing with media houses, field visits to various points of entry, including the airport, 
and AMDA live posts, and various radio stations and television uh, sensitization programs were held. The National Health Emergency Committee comprises of six subcommittees, namely coordination, case management, laboratory and disease surveillance, logistics and safety, risk communication, social mobilization and community engagement, psychosocial support and research, and each with a technical lead. Since the launch of the National Health Emergency Committee, the various subcommittees have been working very hard to strengthen the preparedness efforts. The Ministry of Health convened an emergency health experts committee meeting today where various recommendations have been made for government's consideration. The President of the Republic of the Gambia and the entire government machinery was briefed on the level of preparedness and what actions would be needed. The government of the Gambia had provided the initial resources requested and also a pledge to support the Ministry of Health with extra emergency resources that would be needed. Engagement had been done with the National Assembly Health Select Committee on Health, Women, Children, Disaster, Humanitarian uh, Affairs, uh, Humanitarian Relief and Refugees to provide them with an update on the level of preparedness on COVID-19. The purpose of engaging the National Assembly Select Committee was to discuss with members and to seek their continuous support and guidance to the Ministry uh, of Health, especially during the public health emergency. The Gambia is yet to register a case of confirmed coronavirus infection. As of today, 15th of March 2020, a total of 355 people of interest have been followed uh, with home isolation. 149 of them have completed follow-up without any symptoms, and 206 are currently still under surveillance and none has shown symptoms so far. Of the total seen, only eight required laboratory testing, and we are happy to say that all were negative. The Ministry of Health, with technical support from the WHO country office, has deployed a national COVID-19 preparedness, have developed a national COVID-19 preparedness plan, which covers a duration of one year, this plan has already been circulated to partners for possible support. The estimated cost of the plan is about 8.8 .8 million US dollars. While the COVID-19 plan was being developed, the Ministry of Health engaged in various activities such as raising awareness among the general public, uh, strengthening of the surveillance system, orientation of healthcare workers, and provision of supplies to points of entry. The Ministry of Health is indeed grateful to partners for their timely intervention in supporting the efforts of the Ministry. The Ministry of Health is constantly having information about arrival of visitors from the affected areas. This has enabled a more strengthened surveillance at all our points of entry. The Ministry has organized the training of various, various officers, including public health, clinical health, immigration, Food Safety and Quality Authority, Phytosanitary, Fire and Rescue Services, and the Gambia Revenue Authority on Infection Prevention and Control and Proper Use of Personal Protective Equipment. These training activities are being extended to all the public health facilities in the country. The private health facilities are also being engaged. All our hospitals have isolation rooms for use and they are planned to extend these two major and minor health centers as well. There are also two negative pressure rooms at the Medical Research Council for similar usage at the disposal of the ministry, of, at the disposal of the country. The treatment center at the sanatorium is ready for use. The Ministry of Health continues to have meetings, orientation of public health professionals, and frequent visits to health facilities for supervisory and preparedness work. Fellow Gambians and friends of the Gambia, the nature and scale of the, of the response depends on the cause of the disease, which cannot be predict, predicted accurately at this point in time. As our understanding of the disease increases and its impact becomes clearer, 
we will issue further detailed advice about what to expect if or when further measures become necessary. As there are no cases registered yet in the Gambia, we have strengthened the points of entry to ensure there is screening and early detection of the disease. The official borders were strengthened before the detection of the disease in Senegal. There is continuous community engagement and various partners have been contributing to these activities. The Gambia has been doing the laboratory tests in country at the Medical Research Council, and this has mitigated the burden of transporting a biohazard out of the country with all its attendant risk. This has enabled us to test results within and uh, obtain the results within 24 hours. Once a case is detected, our public health professionals will, be will do tracing, monitoring, and isolation of close contacts with the aim of preventing further spread. There are stockpiles of protective equipment for healthcare staff who may come into contact with suspects or patients with the virus. These stocks are being monitored daily with additional stock being requested. This will be judiciously utilized based on scientific recommendations. Everyone can help support the country's response by following public health authorities' advice on personal hygiene, such as regular hand washing with soap, etiquettes of coughing, and so on, reducing the impact and spread of misinformation by relying on information from trusted sources, such as the Ministry of Health official website and Facebook page, using the free toll free, the toll free number 1025 for any clarifications required. Being understanding of the pressures the health and social care systems may be under, and being receptive to changes that may be needed to the provision of care to individuals and families. Checking for new advice as the situation changes. Be ready to be isolated away from one's family during treatment phase if the need arises. And the public should be ready to cooperate with the authorities and follow the terms of isolation if the need arises. We are grateful for the support the public continues to give to, the, to our health professionals. We all have a role to play. We thank all our partners, including the WHO, World Bank, the Global Fund, UNICEF, Medical Research Council, PURA, the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Information and Communication Infrastructure, the Gambia Revenue Authority, the Gambia Civil Aviation Authority, the media, and the general public. We thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you. We'll come to the end. All those rumors, social media saying two cases, three cases, four, four cases, these are all false. Can I have yes, we'll give you, we'll give you. Jack, yes, one, two, three, three, one. Thank you all very much. And uh, once again, we apologize for your, for keeping you here very long. Yeah, thank you. Yes, okay. thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Sorry. No, we found this one. Take that one. Yes. Yeah. They, they'll follow the people. You can see. 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 You can see.